What is going on everybody? Sports Expert here and we are here with our MLB rumor video today. So before we start, please hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell. Like the video. Comment what you think. I would appreciate that very much. So yeah, we're going to start off with the New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles today as they are expected to make an offer on a big trade that has been reported. John Heyman and Bleacher Report were all over this. So let's get into it. The New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles are two teams who are expected to search for starting pitching in, until the deadline, and both teams are expected to make offers sooner than later, including prospects Samuel Basalo and Spencer Jones. So catching in first base prospect Spencer Basalo, Samuel Basalo for the Baltimore Orioles, and outfield prospect Spencer Jones for the Yankees, they're expected to be possible contenders to be traded uh, for a starting pitcher, and they're expected to make big offers soon. Name The name that obviously came up was White Sox Garrett Crochet as the Orioles and the Yankees have both had a call with him. So it's looking like there's going to be a some possible more dialogue over the next couple weeks with these two teams and the White Sox. We'll see if they can get anything down. But it does sound like the Orioles might be a bit hesitant to trade Basalo and the same with Yankees with Spencer Jones. So it might be a bit more challenging than people think to get a deal done. But these are the teams that are expected to be the most aggressive in the starting pitching market. To no surprise, these are the two teams I think they can win the World Series. There's obviously a team like the Cleveland Guardians who's very good, but I don't know if they're going to be going for the World Series, which is weird, but you know how they, their front office sucks sometimes. So yeah, I'm a Guardians fan. That's how I say it. But looking at it, it's just these are the type of prospects that could be dealt in a deal for Crozier. We'll see if the... White Sox are interested in any other type of prospects, but this is what it looks like right now, and they're expected to make their offer sooner than later. And the Dodgers already made an offer for Crochet that was quickly rejected. The Cincinnati Reds have not decided on a deadline strategy just yet, although it's looking more likely than, than not that they will be sellers than buyers. So it looks like the Reds will be have more likely chance of being sellers and buyers the thing about the reds here it's just they've had a lot of injuries this year and they don't know if they're going to be able to make a run even with a couple of trade deadline pieces they may be looking to trade a frankie montas and maybe a jonathan india who's had trade interest over the last couple of deadlines so the reds they're a team that maybe if they stay in it they could buy but they're looking like a team that could possibly fall into the sell category which would be huge for teams looking for possible you know, hitting and maybe some bullpen help. They don't really have much to offer at the starting for starting pitching, but they're not going to uh, trade guys like Hunter Green or Nick Lodolo, that's for sure. But, you know, maybe a guy like Frankie Montas if he's interesting for teams, but he really hasn't pitched that well all this year. The Tampa Bay Rays are calling up starting pitching prospect Shane Boss from AAA after the Aaron Savali trade. So Boss, who had has had a 1.57 ERA, I believe it is, over his last 23 innings and four, 35 strikeouts in AAA after a bit of a rough start. was trying to knock off some of that rust, but he has now. He's definitely uh, the type of guy the Rays may think is an upgrade over Savali at this point. So they got rid of Savali for a lottery ticket type prospect and Gregory Burrios, who doesn't really have a lot of power and is a shortstop prospect. So who might be ready in a couple more years. So the Rays were able to give him up, and maybe they think Boz is an upgrade to Savali, which would make sense at this point. Boz came off Tommy John a couple of years ago, and now he's ready to be back in the majors. And he could be a huge piece for this rotation for years to come. He's a former top 20 prospect in the org not in the organization, but on all, all of baseball. So very exciting to see what he can do. And here we go with the Detroit Tigers. The Detroit Tigers are planning to be sellers at the trade deadline rather than buyers. And starting pitcher Jack Flaherty, who's had a terrific season, is expected to bring back a very solid return. The only issue with Flaherty is he's had some back issues the last couple of weeks, but they're trying to kind of slow things down with him, maybe in event of the event of a possible trade. So he's a guy that the Tigers are kind of keeping cautious with in case of a trade. He's going to bring back a very solid return, maybe even a low end top 100 prospect, given the um, pitching market possibly and. Another guy that could be available is Mark Canna, first baseman slash outfielder, as he had a really solid start to the season, cooled off a bit, but started hitting a bit again. He's a guy that'll, that has playoff experience and is a guy a lot of teams are going to want as a veteran-type bat in their lineup. So we'll see what happens there. But those are two guys that are expected to be on the trade block for the Detroit Tigers. Flaherty should command a solid return, and Canna could uh, bring back a possible lottery ticket prospect. We'll see what happens there, but... With this salary, we'll see if the Tigers will have to eat some money. 
So Jack Flaherty, Mark Hanna, watch out for those two names. So I appreciate everyone being here. Sports expert here. Please hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell. Like the video. Comment what you think. Liking and commenting helps us in the algorithm. Helps the channel out. Would appreciate it very much. I'm out, guys. Sports expert here. Peace.